Hello Earth Signs, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning into your Who's Coming Towards You Love reading. We're going to be reading out this love story for you in your current energies to see how things may be unfolding for you in your current situation or maybe um, things that how things may be um, coming towards you and how you could potentially help deal with these things coming towards you earth signs so this can be for taurus cap virgo um and we're going to begin the reading with the nine of swords and read it consecutively i wanted to pre lay out the cards here because i want the universe to be telling us a story here as we go along so hopefully you can identify um somewhere along this story here so let's start off with the nine of swords situation um a very powerful thought or an anxious disposition, maybe someone you're in no longer contact with, something that has you concerned or worried or plagued, anything where you've been in an energy, you've been wondering about a person, you've been wondering about a situation, you want to talk about a situation, it's telling me straight away that that's the, that's the energy the cards want you to focus on. Um, and actually with the next card over, the lover's card, there's a beautiful um, communication or opening up. So I'm seeing that communication is coming your way from someone very special. I'm also seeing that you might be meeting um, out of fear, anxiety of loneliness, you might be meeting your twin flame or your soulmate with the lover's card, possibly a Gemini coming here around you, but it's someone that God or your spirit guides has in store for you. They're going to come in a very dramatic way with the tower card. Um, this can be a one night stand, turn love romance. This could be in a very unexpected way, uh, very uh, swift and uncertain events and circumstances around this connection with the tower card something big is going to happen in this connection and it may leave you broken hearted or it may leave you affected in some way as indicated by the next card which is the three of swords now for some of you it could be like love triangle a third party it could be that you find this new connection even though you're in a different connection altogether um but i'm seeing with the three of swords something is going to come to light that's going to be quite painful for you to live out i'm also seeing that a lesson it's it's going to be from a lesson because the next card over is the full card. So you're only going to be learning the lesson or feeling maybe embarrassment or humiliation or vulnerability only after that this third party situation is uncovered or only after you um, encounter deceit or only after you um, are the perpetrator of the deceit or deception in some way with the full card. It may be connected to an Aries also as well, but I feel like with the Page of Swords, at this stage of the relationship, you're going to be very fixated on that lesson. It's going to be a harsh lesson, but I sense that it could potentially make you stronger. For some time, you're going to be quite guarded about the situation with the Nine of Wands, so I feel like at this stage, you might distance yourself from your person because you want to protect yourself or you feel like you may do something out of character because you may want to hurt them, for example. But like I said, the next card over with the Wheel of Fortune, and I feel like a big change is going to come. And this is a very important stage of this relationship. It also almost resembles a clock, meaning it's going to be a divine time for yourself, uh, for self-empowerment, for yourself as a spiritual being. Especially, it's going to be very crucial in this relationship. But you can expect a lot of positive changes coming your way with the Wheel of Fortune. It's a very divine time in this relationship. And you're going to become more open-minded or possibilities um, doors will appear where there were only walls with the Wells card here. This could be potentially meeting a foreign lover. This is making communication again online. This could be for some of you traveling with your person. These areas could really identify a lot of strength in your connection. I feel like with the world card, you will create your own sort of relationship with this person and you'll exist together in your own little world. But I do want to say with the world card, options suddenly present themselves. So for some of you, there's new attraction, new love coming up around you. Suddenly you're in hot demand and this is going to make you feel on cloud nine with the six of ones. And this is an injection of positivity because I feel at this stage, you're going to be very happy with the way things are progressing. You might be happy with how open the relationship is. You might be happy that you're attracting a lot of people you're going to be on an elevated status here and a lot of people are going to be coming back into the picture once again um, and options will continue to present themselves as seen with the two of wands
there's going to be an important decision around a relationship, maybe around a moving situation, a traveling situation, a trip, for example, um, or something to do with a different culture and city and distance. This is going to be an important issue that needs to be worked out. If it is worked out, it can promise um, you with a Ten of Pentacles, solidarity, um, and things will settle down once more. So once all these options present themselves, you're going to choose one and you're going to stick to it, um, which is fantastic because, th because things will start to settle with that Ten of Pentacles. Um, this is at a stage where you're meeting the family, meeting the friends, getting more involved in this person's life and them into yours. Further openness and communication is, is flourishing next with that Eight of Wands. Um, and this is rebuilding attraction, finding the spark. This is being able to communicate quite well here. Um, so this is fantastic. Um, a lot of steps that are going to be taken, um, but this is a lot of evolution happening. It's going to be small baby steps, but it's all accumulating into something here. Um, now, at this stage, I feel like as you start to progress, one of you will want things to progress much faster than the other. And you might reach a bit, of a, a bit of a hiccup here in the relationship stage because one of you is moving because of anxiety, okay? So this is anxious thoughts, anxious decisions, anxious tendencies. This is moving faster than you want to um, or them moving faster than you want to. So there, there may be a message here that you need to sort of slow things down. And um, with the Knight of Swords, suddenly the momentum is going to really pick up, especially maybe after you just found like you've settled in and you're happy where you are. It's almost like something's going to sweep back in and change things for you. Now I'm seeing a rejection or a decline here with the two of swords. So some of you, this may blow up into some sort of massive rejection. Um, this may be a blocking stage in the relationship. One of you is going to be adamant to say no or to shut yourself off from the relationship. So there is there is a shutting down of connection, of talking, of distancing, with anxiety coming up because this is the moon. Now this is cancer. So someone's going to become hurt or very emotionally sensitive during that stage. The next stage over with the Queen of Wands, someone's going to be very proud and start to become more open in the relationship or possibly look to other partners for sexual attention and attraction. It doesn't necessarily mean deception. The Queen of Wands is just lusted after. So if you feel like your person might be shutting you out, you may start looking to other people for attention or you may start to attract other people unbeknownst to you. Either way, with the Queen of Wands, this is ego. This is a battle of the ego that needs to sort of be worked through um, at this stage of the relationship. This is pride. This could be even an issue of respect. Um, and it could be that one of you have much more respect for the other. And I'm sensing someone's going on a bit of an ego trip at this stage. So this is something that needs to be absolutely worked through. Um, because the next... The next um, the next cut over is that it, it, this is this is a battle. This is a struggle. This is needing courage. This is fighting for something. That, so things can be a bit, bit of a struggle at that stage with the Ace of Swords. Um, but it could be a new connection coming in entirely, or it could be that communication needs to be worked on and the way in which you think, because that could be something that's holding you back or, or preventing this from moving forward uh, with that Ace of Swords energy. Um, but ultimately, I feel like whatever you're trying to fight for here, it will be successful with the Six of Swords because this is forward movement, whether it be slow or fast. Um, we see this family, we see protection here with the boat, so we can indicate fertility, family, or moving on and continuing and going on to have a family or share a family together even. So regardless, there is progression. It doesn't matter the rate of this progression. I'm seeing that either way, things will progress from where you find yourself um, in those current settings of circumstances. So I do hope this reading has been helpful. Thank you again so, so much, everyone, for all your love and support and viewership. Don't forget to leave behind a like, share, or a subscribe, uh, and I'm sure I'll catch you very, very soon. So thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.